Welcome back to the adventure. This is Adam, and today we're going to be going over how files are organized in MS-DOS. Let's start by taking a look at our current directory structure using the dir command. Now that we have a few directories created, we can move some files into them. First, we'll need to find some files to move. So how we'll do that is with the dir command, a pipe symbol, which is located above the backslash on keyboard that I'm using, followed by the word find. And in quotes, that's going to be our criteria, which in this case is the letters fi, like file. So that is going to return all of the results that match my search criteria. The pipe character is used to take the output of the dir command and pass it to the find command. Then find uses our parameter to list the results. I'm going to try to move all of them with a single command. And to do that, we'll need to use what's called a wildcard character. So I am going to move asterisk dot txt to c colon backslash data. And then this is telling me all of the files that it moved. So now we can change directory to the data folder. And then we can type in dir and there's all the files that we just moved. What? So we can go back to the root folder here, uh, and let's go to the DOS folder, and we can type in dir, let's do asterisk question mark xe, which is going to list all of our executables, because that's the file type that matches. Let's move back to our data folder, and we'll take one more look at what's in there. So we have a number of files with very similar names. If we want to help keep organized, we can change the names and extensions of those files, but keep their contents intact. The interesting thing about DOS is that it doesn't care what the file extension is. There are some extensions that have a built-in meaning for DOS such as the bat file that we've been working with, like autoexec.bat. It's short for batch, and what DOS is expecting in that type of file is a series of commands that it can execute, or an executable file like what we looked at a moment ago, the exe. DOS assumes that is a program that it can open and run. So avoid using those types of file extensions when you're renaming the file. The demonstration here, we will copy file1.txt to report.mil. So that is another way that can help keep you organized because report.may, bank.doc, they're all different types of files. Like, oh, that's what I have in bank.doc. 